make sure everything's good. Okay, so I'm back on the, the earbuds now, now that Caleb is back home. Um, checking the audio. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so we're going back, doing some, finishing up some of the story missions that we started uh, last time and the time before that. We're going to a uh, Nick Valentine first. Um... If I, yeah, I, most likely, most likely I'm going to get off probably at the latest one in the morning, just because I, I have something to do tomorrow, earlier than usual. But yeah, we're just chilling. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Oh, God, he's right there. <laughs> All right, give me a second. I actually forgot some stuff back at Sanctuary, so now we're going to do some uh, loading screens and have fun with that. Best part of the game. I spent a lot of my time doing... I spent a lot of my time this weekend doing research on Yu-Gi-Oh decks and shit to see like if I wanted to make the core of like certain decks how much would it cost and I'm really surprised at the cost of some of the decks like Bee Droopers are like three bucks for the core of the deck for just like the car just like the I mean not including staples obviously decks are going to be a lot cheaper but like Bee Troopers being three bucks Sue Ships being like two bucks it's crazy that you can have a whole deck just for like, you know, pocket change. Okay, storing some more stuff. If if the frag grenades, um, if the frag grenades do more damage, I might switch out to them rather than the Molotovs. Like this. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a. I'm gonna take a lot of this stuff and just sell it. I think. Does this give me more charisma than. No, that's the same amount. Which ones are worth more? Definitely this. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just kind of looking for stuff to, to get rid of. Not necessarily for anything other than caps. I'm not saving up for anything. Although there is some cool stuff coming up, so I might, I might end up getting something, I'm not sure. I don't think we need springs as much. To be honest, because if I think we've had pretty much the same amount of gold stopwatches in it the whole game, and we haven't used any of them. Cigarettes. They wore money. I guess we're taking a rack with us, sure. Same with the silver pocket watches. I forgot that we can sort by a value here. Okay, I think everything else here is just stuff that we need for crafting. Um, yep. So let's see the damage of the Molotovs versus the damage of the uh, grenades. I also like the fact that the Molotovs burn. 
So it's 51. And the grenades are 151. But also more expensive. I mean, not. I don't care about more expensive. I care about. Um, we have less of them. So let's take our junk. Um, Stealth Boy, I'm never going to use. I never use Stealth Boys. I feel like that's just kind of cheap. But that's just me. Boxing Glove is cool. I'm never going to use that. Which I am good with. I'll keep, I'll keep one minigun. Pulse grenades, pulse mines, I don't need those. I'm going to sell my baseball bat. This switch weighs entire irons that we don't need. So yeah, we got plenty of stuff that we can sell here. And I think that the reason that I have this, uh, this pistol was so I could unequip some stuff from it. Although I don't think there's anything really interesting on that anyways, unfortunately. That we don't have. A ported barrel. So that's cool. But yeah, now we just have a bunch of stuff that we can sell. Does Piper have hey, anything? You say the I might actually give her the red dress. See how that looks. I don't know if it'll look much better on her, but why not? Nah, I prefer right. the trench coat. Let's keep one Nuka Cola because if if you guys remember, this was a few things ago, so you probably if you don't, that's fine. But somebody did want Nuka Cola. And that'll do a quest for us. Nice job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. Got a minute. I think hey. may want to chat though. I think that's trash can Carla over there unless her, her Brahmin is just walking around. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Yeah, so I have the Diamond City promise sure. because I already uh, Let's take a flirted look. with her. God, Let's I look like such a tool. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Does she have any good trash or weapons or anything that I can take off her? Nah, I'm not seeing anything crazy. At least on weapons. We do need some of this stuff for, uh... Junk, though. Ooh, dude! Okay, we definitely need the shipment of screws. So we'll take your junk. Hee hee ha ha. Funny. And then we'll sell her some weapons. We'll sell her trash we have. We'll see if we can't get uh, the rest of her caps off her. So 
so it's about just a bit less than 200 caps I need. That's fine. And we'll just sell the rack to get rid of it. Okay, cool. We need to redeem the shipment. So I've never bought a shipment before. Okay. Now let's see if we can't upgrade some more. Oh wait, no, we need aluminum too. Shit. I think we might be able to get that just by scrapping weapons, right? So I'm going to start picking up weapons that we find on, on peeps. Like every every weapon this time, not just not just whatever weapons might give us upgrades or whatever. And yeah, we'll go to Diamond City, talk to Nick, maybe do a bit of trading, meet some people, etc. funny thing is we uh I was playing Jackbox the other night uh what is it called the horror one the trivia trivia murder party the second um, I ain't telling you how to pick your friends the pipe is kind of a troublemaker but uh we did get a follow-up question on that and it literally asked Nuka-Cola. which game has war war is whatever whatever the fucking hey, phrase is I completely Need forget it Nuka Cola. But it had that question and we got it right, thank God. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. You sure managed to find your fair share of trouble, don't you? It usually finds me. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Someone poisoned you? Pfft, you kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time, I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that had been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is, the still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the guard. <laughs> I love how her, love how her mouth didn't move for that. And they all got to share some time <laughs> just like the bleh, she's just sitting there. You've led an exciting life. Sure have. But honestly, now that I'm out here with you, I feel like I'm just getting started. Getting in trouble is what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are out here putting ourselves at risk so people in the Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life. Not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. I, I just wanted to let you know I'm real happy to be along for the ride. Hmm. I, 
think I want to do. I think I want to be platonic with Piper, just because she doesn't have a very interesting storyline. Like once you once you get to like max whatever with her, then you're just kind of done. Whereas people like Kate have an entire like story thing okay? that you can go through. I'm glad you're here too, Piper. Thanks, Blue. That means a lot coming from you. So you want to get out of here? Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna be platonic with her. Truth kid. People, lady? My dad says outside of sheep people. <laughs> Shopping at night? Diamond City Surplus! Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Surplus is open 24 hours a day. What do you sell here? Everything, Mum. Miss Myrna prizes herself on being a collector of quality odds and ends from all over the Commonwealth. We also buy any unwanted items you may be carrying on your person. And we're open yeah, 24 I think... hours a day. So I think the thing is, like, certain certain vendors sure. only buy and sell Let's certain things. Anything but these guys will just do anything. Just dope. Um, so let's see what I can sell. All of this. All this stuff. Um, I sell the Stealth Boys. So that's a few hundred. Does he have shipments? So I would love a shipment of aluminum right now. Nah, he only has adhesive. Hmm. Let me take back one of the uh, pocket watches and we can lose a cap, that's fine. We'll just take his money. All right, we've done enough while they gagging. Let's go. Uh, let's go say bonjour to. Uh, I hear there's a bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only, the combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Yep. Okay. So that, speaking of Kate, that's her. So we can go and meet her sometime soon. Didn't steal all of her stuff, did we? Maybe just didn't save it. Matt. Hey, lady, that interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free coffee. Cool beans. And now we go see Nick. I wish we could listen to Diamond City Radio just because, Word like... something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? It's been abandoned forever. Okay, so that is also something that we can go to. But I think we might want to wait on that one for a bit for reasons. That, again, people know this game... We'll probably know what's up. Ellie? Are you here? Ellie? Huh. Guess she got tired of waiting. You'd be surprised how many secretaries I lose that way. Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. 
One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Can I? Yeah, I can take his stuff now. Stealing all. Maybe I shouldn't be stealing everything. This one might be worth some money. Is that a... Oh, ho. The mysterious stranger. He's just kind of like a random thing. It, it's not really lore intensive and we're never going to meet him basically the marty bullfinch case marty was nick's partner emphasis on the was he must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time well marty and i never exactly saw eye to eye mostly because he was usually passed out on the barroom floor oh come on nick think of the good times what when he quit <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the one i'm thinking of Hell yeah. Oh, cool. Let's bring the game with it. I think that's everything I can steal from him. Nick? Let's go over your case. Take a seat. <sighs> Sorry, he's gotta be dramatic and make me sit down. To find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can. No matter how painful might be. My husband was murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they they just just it's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. If something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs stripped whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype as far as i know never seen any other synth like myself there's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal and there's the newer ones that are almost human i'm somewhere in between you don't know anything about them really some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories and it's not just me any synth that gets trashed Left behind or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? 
I might have. Everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. He always are. We scram doodling. Cool, we're chilling. Okay, there we go. Had me worried for a second. I didn't want Ellie clothes? to hear this, but I think you should a dad know. says not to talk to strangers. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. We chillin'. Keep an eye out, will ya? See if I can get this open. Okay, I'll just fire my gun everywhere. Like here. One of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? I'll Why shoot this. Give it a try? Why don't I give it a try? No way I can pick this. Hey, Valentine. Guess we'll need to find the key. Hmm, we can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance? Near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Boing. 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 Dude, I'm boing him all over the place, man. Scram doodle. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Who do I talk to if I need to find a key to a house that's been locked up? If you're talking about a property that the city has seized, we only have one on the books. Mr. Kellogg's old house. You'd have to ask the mayor directly if you want the keys. 
I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help? What the fuck? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man, Kellogg, kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand. You you have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit? What? How dare you? Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing. Uh -huh. Hey, Geneva. That did not go perfectly. I'm sorry, but you're not getting that key for me. Right? Please. All I want to do is find my baby. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. You do seem like a sweetheart. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your baby's lucky he has a mother like you. I hope you find him. I'm definitely robbing this guy blind, by the way. Kind of crazy how he doesn't sleep. No funny business around the mayor. Got it? Oh, I will do some funny business around the mayor. Such as this. Perhaps this. Uh, by that I mean this. Mm -hmm. Perhaps some of this. Perhaps this and this and this and this. Probably this, you know, this. Stuff like that, you know. Piper, you're trying to fuck me over. Mm, perhaps some of this. Maybe we'll just do that, you know. And, uh, you know, some of this. And if some things just happen to accidentally go missing, you know, I mean, like, I have two of... Wait, I have two copies of Kellogg's key now. Got it. Three copies of Kellogg's key now. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional. I know you're new to our fair city, but the press is not allowed in this office. Tell Piper to wait outside. I'm so glad that he's too busy worried about Piper to care about the fact that I just robbed him fucking blind. He'll get over it. Piper, don't jump off this building. I saw it in her eyes. She was about to do it.
Okay. We scram doodling. I still can't believe I have three of Kellogg's keys. There was so many places I could have robbed it from. Wow, so many places I could have robbed it from. Dude, I swear sometimes I speak like English is my second language or some shit. Not to insult people whose second language is English, but I feel like I should be decent at speaking the language that I'm fluent in. Got the key? All right. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. A guy like Kellogg would think big. I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit. Cause I turned it down last night, and I I turned it back on before we started recording, but. I don't think it was high enough. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. A switch. A button. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Huzzah. Well, look at this. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. It won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Get some good shit in here. Something. Oh, he's trying to talk to me? I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. I want you with me on this, Nick. Send her back to Sanctuary. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Hey, y you mind keeping an eye out for a sec? I gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd they miss? I like how it was just so casually a robot. Like, they don't make a huge deal out of it like they did with, like, Cosworth or anything. I feel like that aspect's pretty cool. But yeah, it just wants us to walk outside and, uh... Dog meat will be right there. Oh woo. Oh woo woo. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy. Wish moving. Wish moving. But this dog better be meaty as hell. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Hey, boy. You ready to get back out there? The dog be schmoving like it ain't nobody's business. 
the way that he is moving. He's maneuvering. Oh, the Ripper, dude. I don't I don't think I've ever really used it that much, to be honest. I know I, I hyped it up when I said it. <laughs> but, you know. I think it's cool. I just never messed with it. In case you guys aren't aware, by the way, I am uh, I'm loading screens. I'm basically just on my computer doing some other stuff. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Dude, Nick, I cannot hear you at all. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? I might, I might give myself some points in charisma next time I get a level up. We should be pretty close. But I haven't been passing as many persuasion checks as I would have liked when I made this character, you know? Okay, fuck this. I'm going. That's just impact. Here it is. Torn up by his own turret. Took out the targeting computer with one bullet. This guy's a crack shot. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. Ready to get back out there? I still haven't figured out who I want to side with. Because we're going to have to choose eventually. might be worth something too. Oh, 
okay, so we're actually we're actually balls deep in the mission then. Somebody didn't want to get snuck up on here. Boy, you ready to get back out there? Push moving. I hate the fair rules. Oh, that's part of the DLC. Assailant, lower your weapons immediately. Alert. What Critical have we signs. here? Error alert. System corrupt. Signs. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He killed us. We're still on track. Hopefully, he's not much further. Another one of his stogies. One second. Okay. Let's go charisma level up here. It's hard to commentate on a game it, like a game like this where I've played it like so many fucking times, you know. I'm thinking of playing through the uh, the quarry for Halloween season this week, like Monday and on, you know. I mean, technically it's Monday now, but or Monday in ten minutes. We're getting close. I can feel it. Look around. What do you think, boy? Huh? Is this our man?
That's why I love the uh, the combat shotgun. Because they don't need to be good at aiming to hit with it. You can miss a few times and still do damage, you know. It doesn't just churn through bullets. Is this the place, huh? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Okay. So, we're gonna be doing some dungeoneering. I'm running low on some ammo here. Not doing them much good at this point. Oh, very loud. <laughs> Just the dog randomly getting shot. Our man is in there somewhere. I forget exactly how we're supposed to get in here. Hello, doggy. I honestly might just sell my uh, my minigun and my uh, the minigun ammo because I don't think the minigun ammo is used for anything else. Here's an entry point. So there is a reason why I sold the 44. And we will see that pretty soon here. Here we go. I am 
damage. Ah. Elon will not. Ah. Institute pistols. I do want to pick up weapons. Maybe we'll be able to get some sneak attacks or something, I don't know. The danger isn't Hello, going away, so I'm guessing they just know we're here now. Well, I mean, obviously they know we're here, but I'm guessing they just know where we are. I am the victim of violence. I expect him to ragdoll like that. Let's give him some weapons. I'm not going to give him the pulse grenade because he's going to use it and I do not want to use it. Go ahead. I think we're good. Something for you? Think you can yeah. unlock that terminal? Yeah, if I were able. Can they not? You Is he not? Security's too good. Say the word. Oh my hey. god. Something you need? Can't break the code. Took some bright See minds to do. build a place like this. If I were able, he if said. Turn, I will be ready. Well, well. Shabby set of protocols. All right, let's try a slightly different approach. Got it. We got a sweet case. It's all sweet. Just in case. Did 
Dude, I had chili for dinner tonight. Nice. Boston. I I never say Boston seriously, so you know I mean it. When I say it, when I when I when I say it with Boston. I'm wondering if there's a way that we could get the mayor out of the room and steal the stuff that was in his thing. Then we'll turn the other turrets off. I think we might have already destroyed them, but... Okay. There's more stuff in here. That's it. Four fucking fusion cores? Are you serious? Okay. Sure. Yes, the kisses floor. Let me save real quick. So yeah, after this dungeon crawl, I think I might have said this already, but after this dungeon crawl, I'm getting off for the night. Just a quick session here. Odd. My scanners must be malfunctioning. I see. Is someone present? I don't want to go for it. I want to go for No enemy detected. Yes. Moving. Also, if anybody sees this in the future or, you know, just watches this episode and you have a game that you want to see played or any suggestions or anything, I'm open. I'm just playing this because it's easy and it's something I'm familiar with, you know. Like I said, I might do the quarry for Halloween too. I've I've seen a playthrough of it, but it's been a while and uh you know. I don't, I obviously don't know how to perfect the game. Perhaps the sensors need calibration. Perhaps. Hostile sensor reading detected. I have found you. One way to get that cool I done exploded him. Shock baton's cool. Don't know if I'm gonna use it, but it is cool. I think I'm I think I'm pretty content yeah, with melee weapons for now. Friend, the frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler. How's it going, Nick? Take my shit. Take my shit.
If I remember correctly, the Institute rifles are kind of shitty. That's why I'm not using it right now. But I don't know. Let's see what weapons he has. I'll uh, see what I can do. Now, does he have ammo for it? Like, does he need ammo for it? Sweet. Needs ammo for it. I should have plenty. I think 10 millimeters is the, uh, the one thing that I'm not worried about right now. That's a nukakala. Aluminium. I just got fucking roasted. I just got roasted by cereal brand. <laughs> Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. Hello? After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. God damn, man. What's that? Killing sins in this game. I mean, I'm, I hate saying murder is fun. Because I could be taken in so many horrible contexts. But, like, the way that the sins just kind of explode and fall apart and shit is the most satisfying thing. Some folks never lose their fondness for living in the basement. Okay. Look, you're pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. Beans. Hold up a sec. I'm listening. Think you can unlock that terminal? Done and done. Cool beans. This is some serious security. That terminal might just be for the uh the door here. Huh. Open for business. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can turn the turrets off, I guess. Movement detected. Curious. I guess it just doesn't want to open the door. Yes. Hostile sensor reading detected. Thank you. 
defending. Someone may have actually been damaged. There's a lot of heavy but good stuff in here. Like that glass pitcher. How incredible is that? Excuse me. Cool. Good find. Enemy. Think they're gone for good? You are damaging valuable institute. Systems damaged. Help. Okay. What else you got? Primary sensor. Hello, six. I think that's the last of it. There we go. There it is. Okay. You got guts and determination. What's happening? You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Oh, sorry, Nick. They just kind of walk in front of me now. It's not too late. Still someone alive Stop. It's up. Opening doors. Doors have opening. For real. God damn it. Nice. Lock picking. I love mini games. Sweet. I love ammo. I love fat men. I need to drop some shit. 
Oh my god. I have way too much stuff. I wasn't sure the synth components had anything interesting in them. What can I do in terms of weapons? Inventory Management Simulator. Nah, I'm yeah, go ahead and trash. Um, okay. Take a look. I'll do for now. Oh my god, everything is just locked. That's it. Up. He might try to ambush us. Excuse me. Okay. This red door is going to have our guy. Okay. You made it. I'm just... Step ahead. That's it. My sins are standing down. Let's talk. Whatever you need. Oh my god, dude. There's so much trash. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. 
Let's, uh, talk. End of the line, Kellogg. You die, and I get my son back. You can turn around right now. Go back the way you came. Sean. Well, besides being a bit older than you were expecting, I'm afraid he's not even here. So you see, it is the end of the line. Not the way you imagine. God damn it, you mercenary motherfucker! Where is my son? What's the cliche? So close, but yet so far away? That's Sean. But don't worry. You'll die knowing he's safe and happy. A bit older than you expected, but ah oh well. At least he's in a loving home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <sighs> it better not put me back too far. This is some serious security. All right. Open for business. Got it. Hostile sensor reading detected. Always save. This game is a bit much nice. sometimes, you know. I love it to death, but I 
Uh, my tolerance for it isn't what it used to be. It is a 2014 game, you know, it's... It doesn't autosave as often as I'd like it to. One of those games where you wish you didn't like it sometimes, you know. Nice. Yes. I wouldn't grab this fat man if it weren't worth so much money. But it is worth a lot of money. Probably just sort by value and go way down to the bottom. And that's where all the stupid shit's gonna be. I don't need. Okay, okay let's something. rest a second.
Nice. Oh man, I picked up some Abraxo cleaner. How dare I? Good heavens. Sweet. Okay, you made it. I'm just up ahead. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. weighing me down most here. Oh, nothing. These are all on. Saving here. Going into a weapon that is an ass. Not that the last one was. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. So Enough! Just... <laughs> Sean's a good kid. Tell me where he... Fine. Hmm? Sean's hmm. in a good place. So where is it, huh? You open the cloth, but I th In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to hell so I can kill you all over again, you piece of shit. You must die now. You Not the run. Not it. <clears throat> and there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. So, here we are. Funny, huh? Enough! <laughs> Sean's a good kid. Then you're gonna take- Take you to him. Sean's safe. So where is it, huh? <laughs> Hello? Uh-huh. But I- In a hundred years, when I finally die, I only hope I go to- Fuck me. Yep. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. You murdered your husband. This world, uh -huh. but I can't give him to you. Fuck. Let him go. He's home. Uh -huh. The institute. God, you're persistent. But I think we've been. T you know I am, Kellogg. Uh. It's 
so fucked if I get to fire before I can even fucking... Before I can even go into that or fire or anything. Before I even finish my dialogue, they're shooting me. And there she is. The most resilient woman in the Commonwealth. Right, you uh -huh. But if you're hoping for a... Fuck you. Let him... He's home. Right? No. That's not... Yes, you uh -huh. in another life... But I think we... I'm gonna make you suffer. You must be Okay. So I mean, just backing up is the answer, I guess. And there she is, the most resilient woman in the country. You murdered my. Can I? Do I even have to like do this? Because he ain't here. Fuck you. Let him go. He's home. Institute. Whoever, or whatever you are, I know you are out there. There you are. Honestly, at this point, I'd rather be alive than cool. You guys already saw a few of the options, anyway, so. Come on, man. Fucking come on. That's me. just immune to like fire is that it yeah. fucking job. finally that next... won't be hurting anyone else we should take Over a here. look around get all the intel this place can hide all this tech you were barely human And now he's barely clothed. Hell yeah. Caring too much and I can't run, guys.
I don't really need circuitry to be honest with you. The Institute was the puppet master. Uh -huh. There has to be a <sighs> only person. I How could Piper trust me? That dame, if I know her, she's done. I'll catch up later. All right. He stole got all my shit. He better still have it when I go to meet him. Moving. What the fuck do you mean? People of the Commonwealth. Oh. Beans, not gonna fast travel. Okay. The shoe people lady? My dad says outside the shoe people. We do. See ya. In fact, I'm a murderer. Wow. Mickey Valentine walks into my office for a change. Telling people he's busy say, work, Piper? lady. You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So. You two are finally letting. Mm -hmm. We need help, Piper. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. 
where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with ya? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you it's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Cool beans. So we're not really gonna do the mission right now. I'm just taking Nick with me so we can go back to a sanctuary and dump all of our stuff off. Let's go to Sanctuary. Even good people do crazy things. Okay, Here's let's rest got. a second. Anything I can lug for you? Drop all these institute weapons and scrap them. Besides, maybe like one.
No, we're just gonna scrap the rest of them. I don't care about the Institute weapons. I'll keep one just because I think they might use their own ammo. But... I just don't care. The only thing that I'm skeptical about is if they're worth more, um, scrapped or sold. They're worth more sold. sell a fat man too I think I'll drop out the frag grenades we'll just stock them Kellogg's pistol is what I was talking about by the way because this one's amazing uh, it's it's basically just a fully upgraded 45 pistol drop off like Big Jim, stuff like that that I'm not using right now. Beans, then we'll go to Diamond City, sell some shit. We'll probably end just on time. See that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Hey, you're the new girl, right? Yeah, I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If... Uh -huh. I'll take a look, sure. Something for everyone. Okay. Sell a fat man too. Let's see what he's got. He's got a big boy, which I'm never going to use. So no point in getting it. This is pretty dope.
I'm gonna grab that too. See what else I can sell. Does the inst do the, if the Institute weapons use their own ammo, then I'm just gonna. No, they use fusion cells. I'm never gonna use gamma weapons. Saw my more empty fusion core. Um, let's see. I'll sell this. Why not? Very right, cool. And now we shall head home for the last time tonight. Get some stuff sorted out, see if we can get some upgrades. Let's unequip stuff from our laser rifle. And then, there we go, Old Faithful. I like the critical shot damage. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. Scrap this one. What the fuck happened here? Oh, this is what it looks like. Grab this one too. I think this one's already fully upgraded. Yeah. Reflex site.
Let's get festive. if I can do yeah there we go so I want to do this get somebody here to be the person to run supply lines let's trade some things Now we got weapons figured out for a bit. Kellogg's pistols, crazy. Big damage. Yes. Um, Old Faithful is going to be huge damage. I'm so glad we got this one figured out. This one's going to be crazy if we need to snipe somebody. Actually, just make sure it's all reloaded. Should probably do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're calling it for tonight. Uh, apparently, we're going in the menu. But, yep. Saving the game. Y'all have a good rest of your times.